Okay, let's construct a tree diagram. So we're given that the probability of A is 0.61. So given the probability of A is 0.61, I can start my first branch here on my tree. So the probability of A is equal to 0.61. And then the on, on the other branch, I have to have the complement. So the probability of A's complement is going to be 1 minus 0.61 or 0.39. So there is the first branching off. Those numbers have to do with the probability of event A. So now I see some information about event B there. It says that the probability of event B given that we already know event A has happened is 0.12, which means that here at this node, I can branch off with the condition that A has already happened because I'm on the branch of A. So anything that happens on these branches assumes that A has already happened. So this is the probability of B given that A has already happened, they say is 0.12. And remember, on the other branch, I have to have the complement of that, which is the probability that B doesn't happen given A has already happened. So they both have to do with A already happening, but they're complements of each other. So the probability of B given A has happened and the probability of B's complement given A has happened. And they have to be complements, so this has to be uh, 0 0.88. 0.88. Okay, so then I'm going to look at this other node here, and it's going to branch off with 2 here. But these are going to be under the condition that uh, A's complement has happened. A's complement has happened. So the probability of B, given that A's complement has happened, is given as 0.75 there, equals 0.75. And then last, the complement of that would be the probability that B doesn't happen, the probability of B complement. But remember, we're still on the branch where A never happened, A's complement. And those have to be complements of each other. So this one has to be 0.75. So each of the branches adds up to, to 1. They, all, they have to be complements on the branches. All right, now I'm ready to find my joint probabilities now. So for my joint probabilities, I'm just going to find these products. So first, the probability of A and B. The I was going to use the intersection symbol, but let me just go ahead and write it. A and B. The probability of A and B has to be the product of these two. So this is the probability of A and then multiplied by the probability of B given that A has already happened. So that's 0.61 times 0.12, which is 0 0.0732. So that's the joint probability of A and B. The next joint probability is going to be the probability of A and B's complement. And that's going to be the, this product here. It's the probability of A times the probability of B's complement, given that A has already occurred. 0.88 times 0.61 is 0.5368. Then next, I'm going to find the joint probability of uh, B and A's complement. So that's going to be the probability of A's complement times the probability of B given A's com complement has already occurred. So that's 0 0.39 times 0 0.75, which is 0 0.2925. And then the last one, the joint probability of B's complement and A's complement. And the co joint probability there is going to be, oops, I put 0.75 here. That was a mistake. The complement, when I said this has to add up to 1, that has to be 0.25. I'm glad I caught that. So this should have been 0.75, and then the complement of that is 0.25, because like I said, those have to add up to 1. All right.
So that's 0 0.25 times 0 0.39, and 0.25 times 0 0.39 is 0 0.0975. So there I have all my joint probabilities. What I'm being asked here is to find the probability of A given B. So I'm being asked to find the probability of A given B. But all my probabilities here are of the inverses. B comes first, and then you're given A. So we're finding the probability of B given something about A already occurring. And they want me to find this inverted probability. Well, it just so happens that with this tree diagram, I have enough to do it. Because I just need the probability of A and B to be divided by the probability of B which those are all pieces of information I can get from here. The probability of A and B I already have. Probability of A and B is 0.0732. So that's 0.0732. The one that I need is the probability of B. But what I remember is that the probability of B would be equal to the probability of B and A's complement plus the probability of B and A. Because this is the probability of B if A doesn't occur. This is the probability of B if A does occur, and A either occurs or does not occur. So if I add those together, I will get the probability of B, the total probability of B. Let me see. So the probability of B, then, I just need the probability of B and A's complement. And the probability of B and A's complement is here, 0.2925, plus the probability of B and A, which is the same as the probability of A and B, 0 0.0732. So basically, I'm going to do this addition and then divide 0.0732 by that number. So that's uh, 0 0.0732 plus 0.2925, which is 0.3657. And when I do this division, it'll give me the answer to the question here. So that's 0 0.0732 divided by 0.36. Five, seven, which gives me a final answer of rounded to four decimal places, point two o o two. So that would be the answer. The probability of A given B is point two o o two. And that's how you use a tree diagram to do a Bayes problem.